Well, Aphrodite Golds Limited has opened its IPO to raise up to $10 million, which the company is going to use to expand its gold project or gold deposit project in Western Australia. And joining me now to discuss this is, from Melbourne is the company's executive director, Wayne Ryder. Wayne, nice to speak to you today. Just tell us a little bit about the project firstly, which is uh, near Kalgoorlie. Yes, it is uh, near Kalgoorlie, just 65 kilometres north. It's a gold deposit that we acquired from Apex Minerals for approximately $7.5 million, uh, mostly in cash, some shares in our new company, Aphrodite Gold Limited. The project has an established gold resource of 983,000 ounces of gold with further unclassified resource of a substantial amount. So our focus is now to prove up that additional resource and get the project into production as soon as possible. How, how soon would it be feasibly possible to, um, to have production from the site? We're looking at uh, late 2012 as a start-up date. The beauty of the project is that the gold we'll be mining first will be open pit and of course uh, that's much easier to extract and we're also looking at having it processed off-site so uh, production uh, will not be hampered by having to put in our own processing plant. So you're keeping costs down obviously at this early stage then? Definitely keeping costs down uh, and uh, obviously looking to develop the project in the most efficient manner possible. Uh, so you start with open pit mining. There's a substantial underground resource uh, below the uh, uh, the near surface gold and uh, we'll follow up to develop that down the track. And so just specifically with the, with the $10 million that you're hoping to raise, what does that exactly go towards? Well that uh, money will obviously be used in the Proving Up program. Mm -hmm. Over the first uh, year or so we've got uh, $5.5 million allocated to drilling and proving up work, uh, the metallurgy on the ore and uh, the processing thereof uh, we'll be holding discussions with companies that have excess capacity with their plants in the region. So uh, the money is committed uh, direct into the project. Aphrodite Gold is a single purpose company. It was formed to acquire this project because of our belief in uh, the gold industry and it will concentrate its endeavours entirely upon this one project. Um, I, I suppose one of the obvious points is that at the moment there's so much uncertainty surrounding the mining tax and uh, maybe the mining uh, investments in the mining sector at the moment just really on the nose or even um, on ice maybe in some circumstances. Uh, you've got this IPO at the moment you'll be hoping to list next month. Uh, is this a case of unfortunate timing? I mean what are you saying to investors about exactly how you're impacted? Well. When we uh, looked at acquiring the Aphrodite Gold project for Aphrodite, uh, we used some fairly conservative numbers of Australian $1,000 per ounce for gold, and there was an established resource from the vendors uh, of 287,000 ounces. Now that established resource has gone up to 983,000 ounces, and as you're aware, the gold price is nearly $1,400 an ounce. That makes tens of millions of dollars uh, additional profit uh, available to Aphrodite Gold Limited to distribute to its shareholders. So any impact of a mining super tax when and if it comes in is more than offset by the uh, uh, great increases in the uh, price of gold and we don't see uh, the price coming back. So, you, But you're saying to investors that you're not worried about the impact of, of the mining super profits tax on your profitability necessarily? We're in the mining industry, we don't get worried about too much. It's a hard industry to be in. We're concerned of course and we will be having our say uh, as to the unfairness that we see with the super tax. Uh, but that's uh, as far as it goes. Our focus is upon the development of this project. 100% focus thereupon. Super tax won't worry us if we don't make a profit and we have a project here with a very large resource of gold already established. Our focus must be to get that out of the ground profitably. Um, in terms of, I mean obviously the whole mining industry is rallying against the, this proposed tax and as you said you'll have your say obviously but what would you be, be your main point of contention on this super profits tax? Well <laughs> I remember when uh, Stephen Conroy uh, rolled out the uh, broadband 
uh, network adventure. He said that the billions of dollars the government was going to invest of our money, uh, he said, uh, would only return six to seven percent profit, and he mm. described that as a very modest mm. sum. Now all of a sudden we're looking at seven percent being a super profit. Mm. That's ridiculous, of course, and. Uh, it doesn't even uh, apply to that extent. When a company like Aphrodite goes and raises $10 million, uh, uh, the first million dollars will go in fundraising costs and there will be administration, and the 6% doesn't apply to that. So they mm. might only get 6% on $8 million. That's $480,000, a return of 4.8% on $10 million. Obviously ludicrous. Mr Rudd doesn't understand. What do you want to see happen from here? You want that particular aspect of that tax change then? What about thoughts about the exploration rebate? I know some of the, the junior miners, or some people on the smaller end of, of the sector are saying that you kind of, well, this proposed tax removes that um, risk reward scenario which makes the smaller end attractive to investors. Is that something you think is an issue? Well, to a certain extent it's an issue. It applies more to grassroots companies who are mm -hmm. in the exploration phase we have an established gold resource in mm. Aphrodite Gold and that's nearly a million ounces now and is going to increase substantially so it doesn't have the same impact as the junior explorer who's starting with uh, grassroots exploration. They're in a much more difficult position and many of those uh, companies who are seeking to float on the stock exchange, I know of three, uh, for example, that have uh, put their prospectuses on hold mm. simply because they won't be able to raise the money for high-risk exploration. Do you like BHP's um, CEO, Marius Klopper, sees as a turning point for Australia? Uh, it is a turning point. I mean, this uh, no question, this is just neo-socialism uh, to impose. It, it's not so much a tax, it's just uh, uh, nationalising 40% of the mining industry and uh, distribute, uh, giving that to the government for them to distribute as they see fit to uh, improve their image. Uh, it's been great to speak to you today, um, Wayne Ryder. You're hoping to list next month, as I said, um, and obviously the miners will still be in the headlines, I'm sure, at that point, but um, all the very best, and we appreciate your time today on the channel and your thoughts. Thanks. You're most welcome.